Hey everyone, welcome back to Ranch Simulator. Today we are going to take a look at all the cars in the game at this time. Meet the Meat Fleet, <laughs> as we've dubbed it. Thank you, Rob. Because that's what we do, right? We throw a lot of meat around. Yeah, this is all of them. We got our box truck. The SUV, the big pickup, the small pickup, the little Lada, the UTC, and the ATV. Now let's start with the UTC. I didn't put them all in order here. This is obviously our little starter car. It's a bit tricky to learn how to drive it, but it's very good for hunting. Because you can easily, if you don't push on the paddle, you can very easily drift through the trees, go after those deer, and hunt for everything else. Well, it's a very satisfying little car. And here we have the ATV. Now this is just a lot of fun. As you can see, there's very little storage space on it. Unlike the UTC, which you can also adapt with some planks. I found you can actually put six planks on that car. This one's a little harder to steer. It's a little bit more slippery, you could say. But it's the perfect vehicle to buy when you're playing multiplayer. You have the UTC with one pe person in there, or maybe two. You buy a couple of ATVs and you go out hunting. It's perfect for that, especially since it's so cheap. Those are the cheapest. They're fun, both of them, and this one is just very handy. Let me quickly show you what I mean here. Now, before I was able to get on three, someone told me, you can do five. I said, I can do better than that. It just, it's a little bit finicky. There we go. All six of them. Next car. The little Lada. At this one, as you can see, it has very little storage space. It has no upgrades other than the paint. It has a little roof rack, but that's it. You can fit poor people in here. It's a very nice motor sound, I have to say, though. It's very solid. It's easy to drive. And... Unless, of course, you don't brake. <laughs> I wouldn't suggest buying it uh, in early game. Simply because you have so little storage space. You can't transport any animals in it. Unlike the little UTC, where you can put two pigs in there. Even the biggest pig fits in there. Oh, a little boo boo there. There we go. Perfect. Smooth, smooth as butter. Let's go. Then we have the SUV. It's a big boy. It drives gloriously. It's very smooth, it feels heavy, it's easy, it's a bit boring, there's no storage space, you can fit poor people in there. That's it. Also not suitable for early game. It's still a very nice car, but at this point in the game, there's nothing you can really do with it. Also, I want those stripes they have on the SUV in the, in the store. Uh, I didn't see a way to paint that on, unfortunately. That was the best parking job I've ever did. I'm just stuck. Well, next one then, the box truck. Obviously, for hauling the big goods. Uh, you can fit either four cows or four pigs in there, or mix and match. It's a truck. It's slow. It's unstable a little bit. It hobbles around a bit. Um, it's hard to brake if you're going fast. 
and it's very good for hauling goods if you want to haul around a lot of pig meat this is your truck just don't kill them inside the meat will land on the roof which is okay if you're at the store but really using a pickup truck for that is easier because uh, it will catch all the meat that's falling down now let's let's see now we have two pickup trucks both of them can carry two pigs or a cow one cow let's start with this one Little camera trouble there because I parked too close probably. No, no, can you make it? Can you make it? Come on. Come on, baby. You can make it. There we go. Satisfying sound. It drives gloriously. It's very it's my favorite car so far. It's maybe not perfect for in the woods. Which you can certainly have a good drive with this. And hunting with it is also very easy. It's fast. Not the fastest car in the game. But it's certainly fast enough to get around. And it drives very smoothly. And now for the last truck. I won't bother parking this one in because I parked that one too far away. So let's go for the last truck. Whoopsie, I had some chickens in there. This happens if you have chickens on your roof. Also, to finish off the story on this one, you can upgrade this one with the floodlights, but they don't work. See, those don't work and those don't work. That was a little bit of a disappointment, but still, it looks very nice. Also, the roof rack is an upgrade. It's not on there when you first buy it but it's a very pleasant truck also this truck has four seats the box truck has three seats and this one only has two seats but as I've said before in my stream it's a stick of butter on wheels if you want to have some fun go for this one it has a little less storage space it has less space for people but they can just stand on the back and watch the game from above as they fly by. This this car is just fun. If you want to do ra crazy stunts, if you want to have them stuck in the tree, like I just did here, take this car. If you want a steady one to uh, transport your animals and get you rich, get get the other pickup, get the big pickup. But this one is just for funsies. It's just. Driving this string through the woods is pretty much your worst nightmare. It's hard to steer. It's very fast. It's hard to break. It's just a lot of fun. Everyone, thank you very much for watching all the cars in the game up until now. And now it's waiting for the trailers, of course. And there's going to be a van in the future. So that's going to be fun. Whee! Aha! If you want to see more of this game, leave me a like. If you want to see more of me, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments about the game, or me, leave me uh, a comment. And join the Discord if you actually want to have a conversation. You know, as one does. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.